so let's um, let's take a step back though, because you said something a minute ago that man, it just it's one of those things that resonates with us is that be brilliant at the basics. Something that we also tell folks is uh, done is better than perfect. Just get started and get things going. And we just got off the phone a little bit ago. We did a uh, a, a strategy session call with uh, a prospect, and he's he's gotten to a point where he feels like there's just so much to do. I don't know where to get started. Uh, and I get that because there is so much stuff to go and do. And I think that's also one of that that's the bane of the entrepreneur, the small business owners that there's so much, where do I get started? What do I do? If you were to share a, a nugget or two with a small business today that one is going to start marketing or invest in the, you know, invest in marketing or to improve their marketing, what would you tell them? What, what guidance, what, uh, you know, what, what recommendation would you give them? I think you know one of the first things is something called being a shoemaker's kid. You know, I, I, I joke about this. My parents were both music teachers, and uh, they were gifted. They still are. They're gifted at what they do. Now they're NYU professors, but they were originally just public school teachers, and they, they taught music education. They taught how to sing. They taught students how to perform. Every year, I'd, have, I'd be dragged to shows that their kids did every freaking year. And... Um, <laughs> But, you know, I'd go home, and I'd go to take my piano lessons because, you know, I had to do something musical. And I'd go home, and, and we had two grand pianos in the house, and they were both ridiculously out of tune. You know? And you're my parents, music teachers. You know, and we had two out of tune pianos. you got to take care of yourself first. got to take the time. Treat yourself as a client. you got to make sure if you don't do that, Who's going to believe in you, you know? Make sure your website is friggin' perfect. Make sure your marketing materials are perfect. Make sure you're perfect. Get a damn shoe shine, you know? The things, those little things that matter are just so important, and, and we run around crazy trying to take care of our clients so much that we forget about ourselves. And, and the Greeks said it best. The Greeks, the ancient Greeks said one cannot take care – what the hell did the Greeks say? <laughs> this is why the culture died out. They never wrote anything down. One cannot take care of themselves, and, and one cannot take care of anyone else until one takes care of oneself. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're sitting there unable to do that, that's your that's your issue. So you gotta work on that, and you just gotta make sure that you're taking care of yourself because without that, you you just have nothing. Very interesting. You know, it's almost, uh, we go ahead, I see you smiling. I know, I'll say that's pretty funny because the, when we were hanging up on the, the call with him, Charles said something very, very similar to that. Is like, you need to take care of yourself. You need, you need to schedule time. You need to do this. So that, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and, and I go back to, again, is there's so much noise that's out there. There's so much flash and things that almost seem like, oh, if I just go and do this, I just need to have a Facebook page. I just need to have a Facebook ad. I need to do LinkedIn or a video. And I, you know, I'm not saying none of those or any of those are wrong because I think they all add value. However, you've got to look at what's what's the lowest hanging fruit and where to start. 